this is one of these routes that I talk about or, or concepts. When we talk about spacing, we're, we're talking about spreading the field. Now, we may spread the field out with the formation or we may condense the formation. We may condense the formation and make the defense condense and then we spread them with speed and athleticism to create those seams. Because, you know, what do they work all week? Where do they drop to, right? Drop to the hash, drop to this, you know, this. So now we condense the formation and they're all condensed in there and then on the snap we spread them with speed and athleticism and it changes for them now. Where they're dropping to has changed. Alright? So with the spacing route we're going to create seams in the defense is what we're going to do. It's called horizontal bracketing. We're going to place a receiver inside and we're going to place a receiver outside a single defender. And we're going to attack that defense by stretching it sideline to sideline. We're going to make them defend the entire field. So it's not really a very difficult concept if you think about it. We're gonna, if I'm the defender, I'm going to put a receiver somewhere on this side of this guy and somewhere on that side of that guy and make him have to defend his entire space that he's responsible for. That's all it is. And it's quick game. I like, get, I like it because you can get it out quick. You really don't have to block anybody. I love plays where you don't block anybody. All right? Offensive line coach loves plays where you don't have to block anybody. We're good at not blocking anybody. All right? We've gotten good at it. But horizontal bracketing makes the spacing route what it is. So then timing plus spacing equals completions. I said timing plus spacing equals completions. All right? So then completions equals conversions, right? And conversions means moving the chains, right? Moving the chains. So we're moving the chains. 